Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also gonna let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I'm wondering if we can give people, as they understand it, you know, conceptually, maybe a taste of some sort. I know we have some special surprises on this call of what we are embodying in words that we can bring into their experience. Absolutely. I um, um, one of the one of the things that I love to do is I have this thing uh, called Sunday Sound Bath, and um, and it uh, it is a sound bath that I do on Sundays, <laughs> and uh, and they okay. uh, these sound baths. Um, I do these sound baths, and they they resonate with an intention. I gather with people on uh, on the program, and we talk about an intention, and we hold that intention, and then we have a concert, as it were, with crystal bowls, with tuning forks, with all of these different instruments, and. A big part of what it does is it allows for that space. One that I would love to share right now, actually it's perfect, is um, okay. we, we did one with the intention of rebirth. And it's exactly the, ah. It's exactly what we were talking about. Now, what you'll hear is really something that will allow for space for yourself, for those resonant frequencies inside to show up. So whatever it is that comes up for you while you're listening to this, notice it. Notice it as that quiet observer, right? Notice it as this is the intention of rebirth. All right. Well, we're going to basically, now that you understand what John is saying, kind of get a sense, now you're going to experience because that's what we want to do. So everybody, uh, adjust the volume. Uh, John, also, a few people said they're having trouble hearing you. So I don't know if there's something on your mic that we can adjust, um, possibly. And on this side, we should be just fine. So everybody get ready for rebirth. And I want to hear from you and what you experience as you hear this and what opens up for you. All right, get ready. Here we go.
one thing that I um, that I encourage, and I, I I brought my level up. I hope that uh, that's a little better. You can let me know if if I need to turn up any more. One thing that I encourage with sound healing and working with these resonant frequencies is to spend a moment and connect with your breath. Your breath and your heartbeat are two of the most beautiful and important resonant frequencies that we have, that we have with us in every moment. So maybe as you're noticing anything that may have come up, take a few deep breaths. Hmm. Thanks for letting me share that, Darius. That's really, that was great. Wow. Well, we've got a lot of people very excited and saying, okay, I want another one. But let me tell you, uh, we've got a few acts. I don't know how many John's going to share, but I want to tell you we've got uh, Janet who wrote in, and she said, I felt a lot of throbbing in my stomach. Uh, Jules from uh, Shepherd, she said, I felt head-to-toe tingles. It was totally amazing. I felt a huge shift in my heart right now. I love this feeling. This is, <laughs> she says, this is the best I have felt in, in a couple of days. Uh, my headache is completely gone. Uh, Pat said, um, all things around me, like in the universe, are enveloping into my being. Uh, so many people said, another person, Sonja, said I felt shifting, uh, and um, her visions felt stronger. Another person said, amazing, I felt a huge pressure on my forehead, like... <laughs> Uh, then it was this, my third eye was opened, and Julia said, I felt my inner peace increase as I listened to this extraordinary piece of work. I felt myself expanding more and more like I was just on a cloud. And they just keep kind of rolling in. So my question is, for everybody uh, listening and myself, what is happening? Just matter of fact, what is happening, John, when people are listening to this? What is happening in their body? What is happening in their physiology? What is happening to their awareness? Well, like I was saying, sound has this um, <laughs> unbelievable, un- intangible ability to travel through physical space. And, you know, our ears are are incredible instruments that keep us balanced on our feet that allow us to hear things all around, right? So often so much of our focus these days is with what's directly in front of us. It could be our computer monitors. It could be the freeway. It could be standing in line in a store. But our ears and our oral perception, our auditory perception, um, has this fantastic ability to experience a 360-degree awareness, this omnidirectional awareness. And so the sounds and those frequencies with the crystal bowls, and the you know the the, the crystal bowls um, are, are are tuned with chakra points, and um, there's a tremendous amount of intentional energy that's brought in to work with specific parts of the body in these pieces. But these sounds also, they work in a spherical nature. They, uh, you know, Pythagoras talked about that, about, um, about the, the, the symphony of the cosmos and the harmony of the planets. And the planets literally vibrate, right? They're these round bodies that vibrate in a spherical nature. And if you go back for a moment to that, image that I was talking about of the, the drop of water in the pond and the way that those rings expand out. This is a very simple gift that we can give to ourselves where we take a moment, we breathe, and we allow ourselves to connect with these resonant frequencies. And the reason why it's so profound is because that moves through us. We are... We are definitely creatures of imitation. We learn so much as children by imitating, right? 
we have that continues throughout our lives, right? So when we surround ourselves, when we allow ourselves to connect with these kind of frequencies, it's we imitate unspoken, right? And we we imitate, yeah. we resonate that out. Wow! By accepting that in, we resonate that back out. Amazing, amazing, John. Can we? Uh, I know. I want to be sure that like people really get a taste of this because it's it's something that I think we can give to people as this huge shift right now. Is there a number one that we could do and just see what the difference is that people feel when we when we open them up to this different frequency? And and maybe if you give us one, tell us what is the intention that's sort of imbued in this next uh, this next one that we're going to do. Sure, sure. Um, well, I think in staying with all of this, I'd love to uh, I'd love to move into being your truth. And um, <laughs> what I love about intention is that we can we can say many things about it, and it's it's good to to vocalize and to express, but sometimes what becomes most pure and true in holding an intention is allowing a simple phrase to come in, like being in your own truth. That is that resonant quality inside, and this is this is a perfect follow-up for, for rebirth, where the intention that you hold is going to be let me resonate with my core truths. Your mind is going to race like crazy to try to grab on to what those truths will be. Oh, well, um, the truth is I want uh, this or I want that. Yes. That's not the point of truth that we're going to resonate with. And you're going to allow yourself the space. You're going to hold space and say, all right, I'm going to resonate right now with my own truth with being in my truth. So I, again, I would just, I would invite everybody out and I would encourage everybody to, to just take a few deep breaths. Okay. Connect with yourself, ground yourself a little bit, allow yourself to feel your feet on the ground. Notice where your hands are falling. If your shoulders are stiff, breathe into them, let them just gently relax. And, uh, yeah, I'd love to share being, being in your own truth. All right, here it goes. The other beautiful 
thing about this kind of sound healing work is that you can't possibly be doing it wrong. And what comes up for you and what resonates as true for you, well, there it is. That is a truth. Hello and welcome. This is Jerry Sparazande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're going to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one, live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.